Many thanks to our April patrons, Lee Niemeyer and Deb Purden, as well as all of our active patrons since we have begun. Thank you all so much. Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome back to Ashes to Feathers. I'm Drew and unfortunately Hannah couldn't join me today due to school and time constraints to get this done. But if you stay with us, I'm gonna show you how I drew Rick's Flicks. All right, welcome back. If you guys have not done so already and you like videos like this, be sure and click the subscribe button you see right up there. Don't forget that bell notification. It'll tell you anytime we upload brand new videos. And you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. You'll find links for those down in the description below. Lastly, if you are interested in supporting the channel even more than you already do, then click the Patreon link down below and for as little as $4 a month, you can help support the channel even further. But if you cannot afford it, that is perfectly okay. Just be sure and share this video, comment down below and click that thumbs up. We would appreciate it. So before I get into this, I did want to go over some results of the giveaway vote. The Stay Magical video won out by a vote of three votes to two uh, over the I want that option. So what we will do now is the Stay Magical video. All you'll have to do is get in front of a camera, say, hello, my name is Drew Short. I am from Moore, Oklahoma, and I am a whatever your house is, and say, stay magical. That's it. All you have to do is send that over to us, and we will pick the very best one, and that person will win the box with all of the giveaway in, or items inside of it along with a couple extra things from Hannah and myself. We will give you guys one month to get all that together, and then you can send those to us. And also the bonus, the videos that you send us, we will put in future videos just as a thank you for being a part of the channel. And you guys will get a video, basically shout out on our channel. So that'll be cool. So also the pop quiz winner, if you guys remember a couple videos back, we did a pop quiz question of what is the difference between an Animangus and a werewolf? And Astrid Mulkins was the first person to answer the correct answer, which was werewolf has no choice, Animangus chooses to change into whatever animal. Bonus little information, they cannot choose what animal that is. That animal is randomly selected and they cannot change it. So little tidbit information for you if you didn't know that. Um, the new pop quiz, so what was the name of the night bus conductor? So you'll find that in the books, and if you listen closely on the movies, you'll find it there too. So what was the name of the night bus conductor? First person to answer that gets a care package. So now to the nuts and bolts of this video, and that is the drawing that I did for Rick's Flicks. Now, I asked for a picture a few months ago from Nikki, who is the wife of Rick, and she sent me a couple of pictures. And I didn't want masks in the picture either because, you know, why draw a drawing of somebody wearing a mask? That's not a challenge anyway. <laughs> so the first picture Nikki sent me, Nikki had a really good uh, pose and look and smile. So I really liked that picture. However, Rick was wearing sunglasses because he always wears sunglasses in the park, if not his reading glasses. So she sent me a second picture of both of them, pretty much in the same pose, but Rick didn't have his sunglasses on. He did have reading glasses on his hat, but I omitted those in the drawing. So I took those two pictures and the two poses and I combined them into one drawing. Now, if you are a patron, I did some live video that I am going to post to the feed. Uh, so all my patrons will be able to see uh, from Team Ron and Up, be able to see this live drawing take place and I went over how I did layout for multiple subjects in a drawing so I can make sure that they both fit. So if you are interested in artwork and you want to see how I do my drawings, I'll go over different aspects of things and do a live video on it and that's what this one was. But today is going to be a time lapse of the uh, complete drawing from start to finish. And it's shot on a new camera so we'll see how that goes. But this is the drawing. Nikki, like I said, had a really good pose on this one, and Rick had a good pose on the other. I combined the two, and there you are. That is the drawing. Now, for those of you that don't know who Rick's Flicks is, he is actually one of the most uh, sought-after Universal Studios 
person because he goes there all the time. He's there like two, three times a week. He is a Hufflepuff, by the way. He wears a bright yellow Hufflepuff shirt, Hufflepuff hat, even yellow shoes to match his entire ensemble. So he is a proud Hufflepuff. And his wife, Nikki, is a Gryffindor. And believe me, she is a proud Gryffindor. She is also very knowledgeable about some items and businesses that are in like Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. Uh, she's done some videos just on her own on Rick's channel uh, that you'll find interesting if you want to gain some knowledge about Universal as well as some of the uh, businesses in Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade. So I've been watching them for about a year now and I really love watching them on Saturdays. I get to catch up on all the information about Universal as well as the Orlando Informer Meetup. If you don't know what that is, he'll go over it in his channel. Trust me. This is a great channel to watch. Rick and Nikki remind me of so much of me and my wife, it's ridiculous how they go back and forth and chat to, to one another. So I uh, decided to do a drawing of them and I'm going to be sending it to them as soon as I get that packaging out. Hopefully we'll see it on their channel. Uh, here's hoping. <laughs> this was not a collaboration. This was just me doing something nice for them because I have appreciated all the videos that they have posted. So why not giving something that they can cherish for many years. But in any case, let's get started on that drawing. So stay with me. So as this drawing started, I can honestly say that I already knew that it was going to be a challenge, mainly just because I was combining two poses from two different pictures into one drawing, which can never be easy. Um, and as I told you on the uh, earlier part of the video that I did work on doing proper layout on a Patreon video, so you guys can check that out if you are patrons and want to become a patron. Once I had the layout done, I started filling in with a 2H pencil, which is basically what I did the layout with as well, and 2H is a very light colored pencil, so I'm able to make as many marks as I possibly can without being overly dark to where I can't erase it very uh, in a difficult manner. So uh, starting with a light colored pencil is much easier to do than grabbing the charcoal. And I have found over time that I do get a little impatient when it comes to picking up the charcoal a little bit too soon. And I should have not been so impatient with this drawing either. So you'll see me go back and forth a few times from Rick to Nikki and then Nikki to Rick just trying to get uh, things just just right. But like I said, I, I wasn't too thrilled during the, the entire process of this, and I did have to work on, in, uh, work on the drawing a little bit more as I went. And uh, as you can see, I started grabbing the charcoal right about here and filling in some of the outline that I had from, from the 2H pencil. And I probably should, shouldn't have grabbed it so soon, but you know, it's a little late to <laughs> talk about that now. So once I started filling in, I used a soft charcoal pencil, which is really, really good to start getting that first, second, and third layer in uh, to start doing some shading. And you can kind of see that uh, as you're filling in, things look really strange. Um, but as you continuously work, things get a little bit more pronounced and uh, it, it just flows a whole lot better. But one of the things that I really battle with is how things look as I'm drawing. And I'm kind of nervous as I'm drawing too. You can kind of see me working my kneaded eraser many, many times over. But uh, that's just one of the things that you have to be patient about when you're drawing. And once you get the facial features in, the shading, all of that pretty much just kind of falls into place and you start noticing that it's supposed to look like the person it's supposed to look like. Um, but yeah, just be patient with your drawing and, and take your time. Make sure that everything is how you want it before you start filling in. And even during the fill-in process, don't be hasty about thinking it doesn't look like this person yet because things will change. The hair is probably the most difficult uh, to work with and there are many, many layers to hair. So um, take your time with it. I, I came back to the hair on Nikki several, several times uh, to kind of fill it in and make it more lifelike. Uh, shading is a big thing that most people leave out when it comes to hair. Uh, by this time you see me uh, stop with Nikki. I wouldn't quite finish with her yet, but it was far enough along that I needed to start on Rick's fill in and shading. 
and I took quite a bit of time on Rick's eyes um, because the picture that I had was a little blurry when it came to uh, fine, fine detail with Rick, and I, d I just kind of had to make sure that I was doing everything I was supposed to do and not leave anything out. So his eyes, I would stop and then come back and I'd work on something else. Then I would come back to the eyes again. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to make sure that it, it looked good. I did work on the facial features of Rick a little bit more uh, because during the outline process, I did make his face a little bit too narrow. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> I know you're probably thinking, oh, he made me lose weight. Nice. <laughs> but I had to go back and make it look a little bit more realistic for the picture that I had. So, sorry, Rick. <laughs> um, I did run into a little bit of a layout problem with Rick's ear going off to the side. Um, I could have shifted Nikki and Rick over just a little bit more. As you can see, Nikki does have some space to the side of her face, but I was already too far headlong into the layout and shading, so I just decided to keep it. Wrinkles on a shirt can be a little tricky too. I did have to go back and play with those after the video was already done. So you'll see that in the very end whenever I show you the end result. But once I had everything pretty much the way I wanted it, I did go back and shade in and do some finer detail before filling in the back drop of just soft charcoal black and then smearing it in. And then here is the end result. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that drawing video. The time lapse is something I'm playing around with for those particular kinds of videos. And like I said, Patreon gives you a little bit extra that you won't find here. So be sure and check that out if you are interested. So from Hannah, who is not here, and myself, we wanna wish you all well. Please be safe out there. And as always, remember, stay magical, guys. See you later. Remember, if you want to become a patron, see the link below. Thank you all very much. So now on to the subject of today's video. Train. <laughs> right when I'm ready to start going through the business, there's a train. Silencio.